engineering and IT, a fascinating sector in which graduates nowadays have a huge variety of jobs and challenges. Today, I have the privilege of meeting Felipe Massa's new race engineer, Dave Robson. Hey, nice to meet you. Good to see you, very good, very good. Now, tell us, what is your job here in the factory? Here in the factory, my job really is to um, bring everything we've learnt uh, from my last trip to the, to the track, bring it all together, um, Felipe's comments, all the data, feed all that back to the, uh, to the, the huge number of people here and, uh, and help them to use that information to work out how we, uh, how we go quicker for the next event. What was the most exciting aspect when you changed from being just a data engineer to becoming a race engineer? I think the best thing about that step, being the race engineer, is kind of that feeling of, of being a kind of jack of all trades, kind of managing the whole car operation, bringing everything together, using all the expertise of, of all the different groups of people and, uh, and hopefully bringing it together and uh, making it work on race day. When you were faced with what seemed like an insurmountable task, what was the one factor that really helped you solve that? Those of us you see at the track, we're just such a small part of it. So when things feel like they're, they're insurmountable and they're, it's not going well, you know you've got a huge resource back here of, of very intelligent, very motivated people. So it's how we use that resource that, that can get us out of those, those tricky situations. And what makes your side of engineering so different to engineering as a whole? I think in many ways that there isn't much difference. I think the main thing you, you notice working in Formula One compared to other industries is just the speed at which things happen. But otherwise it's, it's very similar. The laws of physics still hold and, and the engineering principles are very similar, but the speed at which we get things done is mighty impressive. So how important is the communication between driver and engineer really on the pit wall? Vital, I think, um, both in terms of um, understanding the limitations Felipe's feeling in the car, getting his verbal feedback and understanding that. And obviously in the race situation, then all the communication about how the race is panning out, where we're going to stop, how the tyres are, the understanding we have between each other is, uh, is really important. And maybe actually we should ask Felipe this as well. Felipe, nice to see you, sir. Nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> how, how important is it for you, the communication on the pit wall as well? We need to, to understand each other, not me and, and him, but the whole team, you know, to do everything correct, you know, and everybody following, you know, what we're doing on the track and what we talking, what we need to do and follow in the, the right direction. So that's why the communication is very important. And, and how easy is it for you as a Brazilian to make an Englishman understand what you want? And similarly, vice versa. I mean, you've, you've had a, a guy from Middlesbrough in your ear for a little while. Um, you know, that's, it's, how easy is that? Well, at the beginning, it's not so easy, but then, I mean, we, you need to, to get used to it, just to understand, you know, the accent, the way he talks, you know, what is the important things to, to do and uh, understand each other, which is the most important thing. And do you think after all these years of doing your respective jobs, you could become a race engineer and know what to do? I think it may be a bit more <laughs> difficult for you to become a racing driver. Uh, it's Absolutely. difficult for me as well, yeah. I tell you. I mean, it's, uh, I understand more or less the principle, you know, of the engineer, you know, but I think it's difficult for us even to be the race engineer, definitely. I mean, it's a difficult job for both sides, I would say. Yeah, I, mean, I think completely impossible for me to become a racing driver and uh, say, so if I was capable of doing it, then that's what I'd be doing now. But I think what's important with the relationship is that we tackle the same problem, we think about it differently, and it's how we, we bring that together and get the solution jointly. That's, that's what's really important. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.